New shooter coverage of IBC 2023 is sponsored by Atlas Lens Co., Atomos, Sennheiser, and B&H. Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at IBC 2023. I'm at the Quine booth. Now you've come up with a, a very sort of unique free copy and verification program that also catalogues material. Tell me about it. So the application is called Quine Copy and it's free and it does copy transcode and then mirroring data between local storage. It's an all on-prem application and free for everyone to use. What was the rationale with uh, coming up with this program in the first place? So what we do daily is to make a PAM, a production asset management system that serves the backbone of broadcasters and film producers and larger production houses. And what we see is that data comes in very messy to these end users. And what we wanted to do is to make it do it right from the start application. So anyone who has a camera essentially can download it and use it and get their data structured so that it can be easily and cheaply moved into some other place. So it's been made to be very intuitive and easy to use so that even a novice can you know, catalog and organize their media material efficiently and in the way that it should be done. Yes, my mom at 80 is kind of the model user for this application. So let's now see uh, how it works. Yes. So here's the program, and I already set up my destinations here. So I have two copy destinations and a transcode destination down here. So it's on my external hard drive, and then I have a local backup internally on this computer right now. So into the program here, you can drag either single files, folders, or entire magazines. So I'm going to drag this magazine over. And it's automatically recognized now as the camera type. And uh, it reads the metadata from the camera magazine. So it has the right date as well. And then again, I can confirm my copy destination and my transcode destination. And let's start in Jest. So what it's doing now, it's uh, very copying and verifying at both the destinations at the same time before it starts to transcode with Resolve uh, in the background. And what type of uh, verification software is it using? It's MD5. So yeah, hashes and verifies. It does it correctly. And you get, of course, you get a copy receipt right here for every job. So when that's done, you, here we can see that it's all good and cleared. And now, actually, Resolve is working in the background. So at our transcode destination here, we have the editorials and the originals. So now Resolve is doing its thing. And the originals are backed up sorted by date and the camera type. And, and what's also nice here is that you can actually, you know, it's reading the metadata off, uh, off the cards from certain media. Yes. Um, so can you show us how that works? Yeah. Well, you can actually, if, you, if you'd like to customize, uh, it reads the camera and you can always uh, set up uh, preset settings for each device. So it automatically, uh, automatically reads it. So I can drag in another magazine here. This is a red camera. So it uh, sorts it out and reads it, but if you want to edit it and if you want to do some special settings, you can set it up and you can actually set it up so every camera of this type in this project can have the same settings. So you can add a prefix if you want, that will be help you recognize the, what material, what, uh, where, the, where the camera is sorted out. And uh, for special cameras that that does not uh, have like, uh, like the GoPro cameras that uh, you can easily get it that was mixed up with other cameras. You can uh, generate unique file names. And of course, uh, it reads the LUTs from Resolve. So you can predefine what LUT you want on it. Or you can go in and like make a special. And then you, we have the presets all defined in Resolve. So the transcode presets can do whatever you want from Resolve. And there's no limitation in terms of how many copies you can make at the same time. And you can back no. up multiple cards at the same time as well. Yes, you can. We can actually start this one now and just it was already finished though, but we can uh, we can do multiple multiple drag and drop and queue, queue it up, and you could have like ten destinations there if you want. So yeah. And if you're copying a card and you take that card again and go and put more t more material on it, will the software recognise that there's new files on there and then just copy those files? It will if we drag in the old one here. It'll give you a message that says that it's already ingested to this and that. So. Uh, I wouldn't recommend to do that, <laughs> but uh, the easy way to go around that actually just would be maybe to change the date, and that will that will like set it off from scratch. 
So yeah, it would rec it recognizes that it's already been ingested. So Quine Copy, uh, it's now available for people to download. Where can they go to get it? So you go to quine.no to download it. And it's free and it's on the Quine Copy page.